Hello, I'm Andy Cocktail Dress from Co-op Culture and welcome to another of our short instructional videos for co-ops, community businesses and their development workers. In this series of videos, we're looking at key financial performance indicators and their role in helping us to extract information from a co-op or community business's finances and to add an additional layer of analysis to the raw data that we might get from their accounts. In this particular video, we're look, continuing uh, to look at the concept of sales growth. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to use the trend function in either LibreOffice um, or Excel to, to do some trend analysis around the idea of sales growth. So we're going back to the uh, sales figures that we had for Friendly Corp that we looked at in the last video. So in the last video, we looked at how we calculate um, our sales growth. And we did that, um, uh, as I'm sure you remember, by um, getting this year's sales figures, subtracting from this year's sales figures, last year's sales figures, and dividing that sum by last year's sales figures. That's then um, either times by 100 or uh, using the express as a percentage function um, to, to express it as a percentage. So if that wasn't formatted as a percentage, you'd see it was 0 0.2, which is actually what happens when you do that calculation. But because uh, we've times it by 100, we now have 20%. So we have got some historic data um, and we have, uh, it's not a completely direct straight line, but we have a, a, a not a wildly fluctuating um, set of financial data. Now, if this was wildly fluctuating um, a, 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 and wasn't generally a straight line analysis, so we had very high points, very low points, we wouldn't be able to do this trend. Yeah, We would have to, um, probably create a create a, a a line graph then create a trend a, a trend line within that line graph look at the date where that trend line would be and then continue that trend analysis using this function that i'm about to show you um, so um, the way that we uh we 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 make some predictions about what happens if um if our sales continue to grow around in the same way that they have grown in the past, um, is we use a little function called the trend function. So um, to create any function in, in, in Excel or, Calcul or Libra Calc, uh, we start by pressing equals, um, and then we type in trend because that's the uh, function that we're looking at, um, open parentheses. So the first thing that we now need to, to, to give it um, is the data that you want it to continue with. Yeah, when it says data wise, this is the data that we want to continue to project forward. So that is the um, sales figures. So we can click on sales figures in 2015 and then shift and right arrow to get to the sales figures in 2021. Uh, press comma to move on to the next, um, the next variable in our formula. And then he wants the, the data of the X, so uh, you're, which you're then going to give it more X functions. So actually, in this sense, what we're saying is, OK, we want to want the data that we've just given you to continue a longer trend that is based on you, which is what we're going to give it. So again, click on uh, 2015, the first year uh, on C3, and then shift and right arrow to 2021. Then we want to tell it, OK, well, what's our prediction? Which way are we going with this? Um, how are we looking at this going forward? So um, what we're actually interested in is, well, what's going to happen between 2022 and 2025? So after we press comma to get to the next variable, we click on 2022. And again, shift and right arrow to we get to 2025. Um, close uh, close um, brackets uh, and that's all the data that we need to give it. Now there's a couple of things that will make our lives slightly easier. Um, 
So the first thing that we should do is we're going to copy and paste uh, the formula in, in this cell, in, the, in cell J4, uh, along into K4, L4, and M4. And there's, a, there's some of those cells that we want to keep as absolute. So um, we want to keep cell C4 uh, as absolute. Um, but I4, we're quite happy to, 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 to move along to J4. So when, we, um, when, when, we're, when we're looking at what happens in 2023, we want to look at what's happened between 2015 and 2022. So that's why we're keeping C4 as absolute, but I4 is going to move along, yeah? The same with the years. Um, we are wanting to keep C3 as absolute, and um, but we're very happy for I3 to be relative and move along because we're still, we're wanting 2021 to become 2022, 2023, et cetera. Um, when we get to the future predictions, it's actually slightly different. Um, we want uh, currently 2022 to, to, to move along. So we don't want to keep that as absolute, um, but we want the end um, year to be absolute because we don't want it going into cell N where there's no data, yeah? So, um, so we're going to put a, a, a dollar sign in front of M3. So for those of you that aren't aware, the dollar sign in um, either Excel or Calc um, makes a cell reference absolute. It means that it doesn't vary when you move it along. And you can either put it in front of the column, um, the, which is the letter, so you put it in front of C, or you can put it in front of the row, which is which is uh, currently in this one, you know, four. So it's about whether it, if it goes up or down, if you copy and paste into lower rows, it doesn't change the row reference that you're doing. Or you can put it in both. Yeah? You can do $C, dollar $4. Um, and that's a really useful, uh, really useful uh, function in uh, Calc or Excel. So then we're just going to copy that and uh, paste it into the other cell. So that's control C and control, um, control V to copy and paste. Yeah, and this is that now um, Excel has now made a prediction based on what has happened as to what we think is going to happen. And actually we can look at that and we can even then do some analysis on what the sales growth is as a percentage uh, or what is predicted to be as a percentage. Um, and what's actually quite interesting is that um, uh, Excel uh, or Calc has decided that this year is a slight anom anomaly um, because it's not quite in line with the trend that's going on there. So actually the sales grow by, by more in 2022, but then slowly decrease. So that was this, um, our video on how you use Excel or Calc to, um, to, to look at trends and to calculate and uh, make some predictions based on future, uh, uh, make some predictions of future trends based on historic data. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please click the like button. Um, if you have any comments to make about this video, or if there are any other uh, videos you would like to see or suggestions you would like uh, for videos you'd like to see in this channel, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you want to be notified when we upload more short instructional videos for co-ops, community businesses and their development workers, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Um, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video which is um, we're going to look at uh, sales growth um, and what happens if the sales growth is negative. So sales contraction um, in relation to another key financial performance indicator, the, um, the, the, the margin of safety. Okay, thanks everyone for watching.